welcome back to the N4 Learning Channel. Right, on the we're still on the Edge 10, and last video I put some histories on, so we've got some histories now. So what I want to quickly do is where the graphics are here. As you as you put my mouse over, you don't see anything uh, highlighted. So let's add an history to that point now. So I'm just going to do a pop up. So kit pop-up binding, I'm just going to take that history, paste it into the ord, and go chart for default view. And I'm just going to change the pop-up to um, space temperature. I'll put history. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. Kit pop up binding, take the supply temperature, paste it into there, and do a chart view and supply temperature history. Now, what I'll also do is a mouse over so it highlight it once we put the mouse over that, and the same with this one. Take it out to edit mode. So that's now highlighted when we put the mouse over. And pop up of the history. Today, history, which is hardly anything. Straight line. That's because the points, I presume, there's hardly any difference between it. Let's have a look at the history. So that was the um, space temperature. So files. And that was the supply to space. Ah. Right, we need to change that because my history is actually not on that space temperature there. And we need to put that history on that space temperature, really. When what I've done is I've put the history on the edge I.O. point. And we really don't want it on that point. That's a dumb way of doing it. So let's uh, delete that history. Well, I'll copy it. And let's put it to where it should be. Paste. And we'll do the same as that one. Paste. And we'll take the history out of that. Which gives us a good reason to show you how to clear the histories out now. So we would have to go into our services and enable them histories. History service. Highlight them too. Plus, so supply temp, and then let's go down to our history service, history at the bottom, change that chart to AX database maintenance, take that and take that, move it across to that side, and click on delete histories and run maintenance. So we've deleted them histories, so these are going to start now. Um, but it's every 30 minutes so we're not going to get only one value at the moment now I don't want history chart, I want history table yeah there's nothing there at the moment it will record it in 30 minutes time well 25 minutes time looking at the time of May so we'll leave that as it is that graphic will work now because it's looking at that point but what we do want to do is relativize the odds. I think that's already been done. Yes, it is. So we're physically looking at the space temperature in that folder now, and that's the history for it. So we can wait a bit. Let's just work on these overrides. See these overrides here? Um, you can see the purple, and that tells me they're overridden. But may not tell another person that they're overridden. So what I'm going to do is 
change this slightly. So let's go to duplicate that point and background where you got your overridden there I'm going to change that to an image and then I've got an image file images hand yellow okay okay and we can take out the text showing that's overridden duplicate and we'll just put that there and we'll do it with this one as well and we'll do it with this one that's not overridden Let's take the override off that. Emergency auto. I don't want a box. I do not want a box. I don't want a border. I don't want a border on you, thank you. And I certainly don't want a border on you. So that one was linked to the health. Let's duplicate that and link another one to the enable. We don't know which one is which here, do we? So if I put that there, and we know that one's there, and we know that one's there. So that's our enable. Let's just move them slightly across. I presume I could no I can't move my fan anymore because of that. Okay. Probably needs a bit of tidying up. start fan up there that would do so when we do override the temperature sensor we get the uh, yellow hand up there And they're overridden purely because of um, it's just in the controls. Let's just take that off. Let's take the overrides off. And that, that's not going to work. And let's go into the logic here. So that's our enable, which is getting from the point in here. Enable there, which is stopped at the moment. We can't override it. Right, so what we're going to do is let me delete that fan coil 2. Let me duplicate that fan coil 1. And let's go in, in here and let's make it a bit simpler. Let me just link mark the points to it. So link mark, return air, link to, out. There. Link to, out, into there. Link to, 
to out into the safety filter. the enable and there's your graphic there so let's go now into we finished there with that into Franco to wire sheet right let's try and make this a little bit simpler than what it already is so where we've got a heating and cooling loop there we're going to make one heating and one cooling so I'm just going to duplicate that for now and call that cooling loop. Keep that as a heating loop. So rename that heating loop. We're going to put our loop enable there. We're doing our control variable, which is our supply temperature. And we're going to do our set point there let's double click into there and let's just put that as a two and that as a one and then was that our cooling loop yes it was so that needs to be direct and that can now be a zero so not to a hundred percent and that can now be a zero reverse so that is heating enable that loop emergency active emergency active so we've got a set point of 21 supply of 23 that's our cooling at the moment so we can take out that rubbish now and put that straight to our cooling coil and the heating coil which is that one there. We can put that straight into our heating coil. We don't need that. We don't need that. These are for our valves. So we want to keep them in. That's our heating one. So we want to put in there our cooling one because they're just for our valves only so let's move that one down to there because that's our digital side and that are not to 10 I'm looking for points now it's doing nothing which is that one that's doing nothing that's doing nothing that's doing nothing so I'm looking for points that's got no in and outs so let's just put that now to set point 21 let's override that to 16 um, sorry I want cooling so I'll override that to straight to 50 degrees so that's our cooling coil going up now I'll override that to 16 degrees now we've got the heating and cooling both on at the same time not that that would really happen because I've, I've gone mad with my overrides but we do have heating and cooling both on at the same time now as it quick uh, as it's trying to get down to uh, set point or go up to set point so that's going up that's going down so we could use our PI loop to quicken up which is all attached to this one at the moment we could duplicate that
heating reached. So yeah, that's all being controlled via this one here, cooling reached. So that's not that anymore now. That one's going to be, well, that one wants to be into there. And then that we don't want. We need to change the PI for that one. going to go into there and that one's going to go into there so that's my heating only and then my cooling one get rid of that reset loop we don't need that because we'll be switching on and off quite So that's my PI heating, so rename PI heating. Rename heating. Take that, duplicate it, bring it down to there, put that into there, put that into there, put that two into there put that one into there so we quicken up the loop that wants to be renamed to cooling and that needs to be renamed to cooling so we've got that block there for our cooling and we've got that block there for our heating. Cooling coil, heating coil. So we're currently heating because the supply is 16, the set point is 21. That knot gate is doing nothing. That T stat is doing nothing. But do we want it to do something? Yes, we do. Let's put that back again we don't want to do anything in the dead band so that is heating so I'm going to enable that loop that's our fan coil enable let's take that loop out let's enable that loop there and let's enable that loop take that loop out enable that loop there so the loops controlled via this T stat and the two degree dead band got that there now digital so that was for selecting for digital else it's going to be so the voltage one is the voltage still going to work it is isn't it the voltage is still going to work so we still need two switches, numeric switches which I've already deleted. Let's just bring them duplicate 
for our cooling and heating. So cooling and that was voltage. Rename heating voltage. When it's not on, we put a zero in there. When that's not on, we put a zero in there. And when it's on for our heating, we will put that into there. And when it's on for our cooling, we put that into that true and we're currently heating so that switch is there for that and if we were cooling that switch is there for that we cut out that we cut out that we put that into our cooling coil we put that into our heating coil control So that still doesn't work because it's not the heating and cooling we need, not that switch and not that switch. We need that switch and that switch because that's just controlling so we would change that over, set that to digital. We've got them working and all of those zeros. Set that to voltage. We've got that working and they're all zeros offs. So I don't know if that's simple or not. <laughs> um, we're just using two PI loops. Instead of one. Now what we could have done as well, is we could have used one PI loop 0 to 100 and we could have changed the, um, let me expose that for you, we could have changed the loop action if we wanted to. So just using one PI loop and we'll change the loop action on this, whether it's heating or cooling. So let's just quickly do that one. So we've finished that one. The graphics should still be the same. Why isn't that working? What is that all about? Slot heating cooling loop. Slot heating cooling loop. What do we do here? That one will work percentage okay so that was looking at the percentage so what we could do here then on this one if we take that out well not take it out but if we take it away the border so it's still there and then this one will be invisible now. And what we could do is bring our heating and cooling into the same graph that they're all sharing. There's my cooling loop. Just drag and drop that into there just for the moment. And there's my heating loop. what happens whenever we look at the other graphic yeah it's messy 
messy, messy, messy. So we'll leave it because we've got our percentage here anyway. So we'll take that out. And it's just so our percentage is still showing down there. But when we're looking at the other fan coil, we've got that in there and then that one using the same graphic we just don't have it in because we're just using one uh, with two loops if I duplicate that now for fan call 3 I'm going to show you what I meant about the one loop probably would be better duplicating the other one to be honest because we've got this lot here where the other one was designed just to use one loop. Let's delete that fan coil three. Let's duplicate fan coil one. Views AX wire sheet. So we're still going to do a naught to 100. We're not doing a minus anymore. We'll expose the pin slot for the loop action. And this is in cooling mode at the moment. So, which is direct. See, I've put that there, that's direct. So that's now just using the cooling mode. in cooling what are we doing here supply temperature 23.9 yes it wants to be cooling so we need direct and the loops not enabled that's the reason why let's enable the loop so that's gone straight to a hundred percent and then we've got to change now this lot around here so we're in cooling. So that's true. That's true. So we don't want to go to there anymore. Now we want to go directly to. So let's cut that out and put that true into there. So there's our hundred percent. Let's go into heating. Sixteen degrees. So we're now in heating mode, and heating's working. But just see, let's see where it's coming from. We don't need that maximum block in there. We're not interested because we're we're working on that only. And we're in reverse mode, so we're in heating. So we're both coming from the same points that one and that one they're both coming from here which is still a heating and cooling loop where is that going what's that going for do we need that anymore yeah because that's for our digital side I'm not so sure we need the ABS though anymore That's a control variable for heating. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. And we don't need that anymore. So we need the control variable for that, which is our heating. So we've got to then put a numeric switch again, which we've got here. So what we can do is take that delete that take our numeric there and take our cooling numeric there they're all false we're in heating supply temperature 16 set points 21 so we should be in heating let's change the valves to digital valves 
we're still at 30 at the moment so we haven't reached the 40 plus 5 so we haven't reached 45 at the moment let's lower that down even more let's put that to 10 degrees now we've hit our 45 we have 46 47 so now that's on let's put that to 50 degrees something stupid we're 100 percent and we're cooling that's right change that back to the most popular which will be voltage I'm 100% cooling coil so we're changing it with one loop so it's still a heating and cooling loop but we're not doing the minus 100 to 100 let's have a look what the graphics showing us yeah percentage plus or minus cooling so that's actually going to be wrong that text now but if I change it there it's going to change it on all of them so I presume what we could do is rename that block so we don't see that text so that's heating and cooling loop view wire sheet yes so I don't know we're just uh, heating a cooling loop and we just put a one there then you won't see that then now you just got a hundred percent and zero so we'll only see that on fan coil one when we're using the minus 100 and plus 100 fan coil two we've got separate loops for it on fan coil three so we're set at 50 degrees on that one, we're overridden. Fan coil two, that was at 16 degrees, and we're overridden. Fan coil one, no overrides. We're within the dead band, I presume. We're actuator type voltage. We haven't got anything running. Let's just uh, enable. enable we've got no overrides on our temperatures and what are you wanting to do you were wanting to do cooling hence your minus 100 yeah you want to do cooling because you were above set point I think we've exhausted that now We have definitely exhausted that. Let's take that override off. So that's three ways that we've done the fan coils. Looking at the logic, I prefer two, I think. I prefer fan coil two way. Fan coil 2 I reckon is going to react faster because you're not going down you haven't got you basically got 200 there on your PI loop from minus 100 to plus 100 where fan coil 2 you don't have that you've only got 0 to 100 and the same for fan coil 3 so I reckon fan coil 2 and 3 are going to be faster responding then fan coil one. I think that's it for now. I think we have exhausted that. I think I'm going to wait for some histories coming in now. What time is it? 12.05. So we've got one history in at the moment. But I think I'll wait for some histories coming in. Let's just double check that. Go to chart. AX history table, yeah, we've got one history in at the moment at 12 o'clock. 
Now, if you wanted to export, say you've got lots of histories here and you want to export, you can press here and then you can click on export and then you can export it to a CSV file. We can also set up, I think this is going to be another video where we can, we can set up exports uh, via email. So we can send it via a PDF file, via an Excel CSV file. Uh, to whatever email address you want but I think that we're going to cover that on another video because we need we need the report service in here and other things so let's cover let's uh, upload this video and then we'll cover the next one on histories I think we've exhausted fan coils now if there's any questions put them in the bottom I'll try I'll, well I won't try I will answer them for you um, if you've got a better way of doing a fan coil control by all means share it and I can post it because this was just on the fly like I do all my videos just working through it there's also other ways where I'm using a controller in Edge 10 you can use your software here to be live you don't need to use a controller so as long as you've got the software you can make it a live station and do your editing that way I just prefer to put it onto a controller I know that when I send it to my client and he's using Edge 10s I know that's just going to load on there without any issues but it's still irrelevant you could still use your own um, software you don't need to buy a controller to put software on you can uh, use it within your uh, workbench, your Trillium workbench. Don't forget, if you like what you see, can you subscribe please? And uh, I'll speak to you on the next video. Bye.